Boating season is about to get underway, and once again, all boats entering Idaho must be inspected before hitting the water. Inspection sites are now open to stop milfoil and mussels from invading Idaho's lakes and rivers. KXLY4's Eric Loney has the story, including what it'll cost you if you fail to stop for an inspection. So we'll look at the bottom of the hull. Anything below the water line is what we're looking at. Bruce Davis is searching for small invaders threatening to ruin North Idaho's waterways. They uh, reproduce at an incredible rate, uh, a million offspring for one female in a season. They are coaga and zebra mussels, and this is what happens when they infect a lake. This is a piece of plastic pipe left in a lake in Nevada for just six weeks. It's covered with mussels, and it's why Idaho has started inspecting boats before they're launched in its waters. Well, it is a big problem in other states. It's impacted recreation, it impacts the natural habitat and wildlife, and it impacts the states that have been infested financially with water intake systems and just the maintenance to try to keep things clean and free of uh, zebra and quagga mussel. Quagga and zebra mussels have been traced back to Ukrainian ship in the Great Lakes 30 years ago. They spread across the U.S. but haven't reached Montana, Idaho, or Washington yet. And we'll use inspection mirrors and we'll look up underneath and inside here. Now all boats, including canoes, jet skis and inflatables over 10 feet long that pass an Idaho inspection site must stop. Failing to stop is an $85 ticket. Inspection sites have already caught five boats infected with zebra mussels this year. This is a free inspection. We also do uh, decontaminations for free. If we find a quagga or zebra mussel, there is no charge for us to decontaminate that vessel. The state says all boats should be clean, drained of all water, and dry before being dropped into water. Boats must also get an invasive species sticker. It's $22 and is purchased through the State Department of Parks and Rec. The fee pays for the inspection program, a program that's trying to protect North Idaho's lakes. If they get a foothold, then there's no stopping them, and it's really just a short time before the lake is completely inundated with mussels. And this is not just a once a season inspection. Every time you drive by one of the inspection sites, you are required to stop and have your boat inspected. In North Idaho, Eric Loney, KXY4 HD News.